Um, hello, I'm Dr. Maxim Chumak here in Fort Lauderdale, Florida, and Maxim Medical Center. And uh, we're gonna talk today about uh, a bit about history of uh, hair restoration, and I will uh, bring up some of the advantages of uh, using robotic hair technology. Some of the first attempts of uh, uh, hair restoration procedures were done in Japan in the uh, uh, 50s, and uh, the whole term of plugs came from that. It was done by taking large chunks of hair with hair follicles from the safe zone, from the back of the head, and placing them in the area of the hair loss. Of course, uh, aesthetically it was a disaster because it was nothing like uh, natural look that we desire and it was not, obviously it was not very popular. Uh, then uh, a strip method or FUT, which is still utilized until today and uh, I believe statistically it's a little bit less than 50% of the time. It came as uh, with idea to make a uh, <coughs> linear incision uh, in the back of the head. And by the way, this is Jake. Uh, this is a uh, modified head of the mannequin. It's gonna help us with some demonstrations. To make an incision in the back of the head and then either divide it uh, into smaller um, uh, hair implants or uh, using some uh, different devices to, to pull cellular strip of the hair follicles. Again, it's still utilized how the clinic use it. Obviously, when we talk about FUT, you have to deal with uh, much a more invasive procedure, blood loss, um, scar, and um, prolonged healing time, as well as stitches. Okay, some of the thing I wanted to, uh, to point, uh, and what most of the surgeons don't bring it up when you go for consult for the FET procedure. The scar formation takes about a year. So um, occasionally it doesn't really, the, the technique of suturing is not going to be a determining factor how your uh, scar will look like. Because of the uh, collagen, there's, it's, it's pretty complex uh, process and uh, <clears throat> Your end result will be known only in a year or so. And some people will have a tendency to develop larger scars. Also, it's highly depend how much hair do you remove. If you, if you take a large amount of hair, you have to close the gap, right? When you close the gap, the tension will be proportional to the amount of the, uh, to, to the size of the gap you have to close. Another thing that you should consider that when you close the gap here, it's gonna pull your skin backwards a little bit, and your hairline might actually go a little bit backward too. Next uh, development in hair transplantation after FUT was FUE, and FUE stands for follicular unit extraction. And this method utilizes smaller punches not as big as back in the 50s and they got progressively smaller as we develop more sophisticated technology. So when we use our test, uh, our size will vary from 0.8 to 0.9 millimeter typically and that's uh, it correlates with uh, 19 and 20 gauge needles. It's such a tiny area you can hardly see it here, right? So what um, what happens with FUE extraction? We have to align our punch in a perfect angle, three dimensionally. It's not a linear, so and then push it inside. Usually it rotates, and you have to encompass the follicular unit perfectly in order for the extraction to result in a good quality hair follicle unit. Obviously, when we talk about uh, extractions uh, manually, our there's a lot of factors we're going to discuss next time that will affect the quality. 